God's resolution. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. Have you ever needed grace and mercy? Well, I have. During the months of October and November, my financial resources were quite challenged. Due to unforeseen emergencies, I was unable to make my car payment on the 28th of the month. I contacted my car loan financier to request a payment extension until the 30th. The request was declined. I continued to pray for the extension and for God to intervene on my behalf. The loan representative was very compassionate toward my request, but she refused to extend the payment beyond the 28. Before hanging up the phone, I stated, I believe God will provide the means to make the payment. This phone transaction took place on a Wednesday, and on the following Wednesday, the payment would be due. Once again, I went to God in prayer regarding the matter and left the situation in His hands. On Monday the following week, I was impressed to go to my bank for service. For whatever strange reason, I could not log onto my account at the service desk. I decided to log onto my account from my mobile phone. To my surprise, I saw that someone had extracted three unauthorized debit transactions out of my account for over $300. Already at the bank, I was able to report the incident and file an immediate report. The bank representative was very helpful and began the refund process. The representative said the fraud transaction would be restored in 3 to 5 days. The return took 7 days. After my morning prayer and worship time on the payment date, I decided to check my bank account to see if the fraud transaction had been restored. I prayed about the matter and said, Lord, it's Wednesday. My car payment is due and I do not have the money. I was impressed to phone the car loan financier and share about the fraud transactions. Once again, I asked for the two-day extension of payment. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. The extension was granted. The Bible shares that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Although I was not happy about the fraudulent transaction, I am thankful for my Heavenly Father's continuous love, grace, and mercy. Grace and mercy awaits you too especially when needed the most. Barbara Stovall So, what do you think about this story? Comment down below and let's share your thoughts.